Hello viewers, and welcome back to NATO Plays Thief. Here we are inside the next house that we came into. We jumped in from the street after raiding a jewelry shop, and we're on our way to the clock tower, wherever that may be. So let's get to. I don't know what refills uh, focus. It would be useful to know, because I just keep spamming it to... Uh, <coughs> I just keep spamming it to be able to see things. To steal. Oh, I see a shadow there of a person. But let's carry on. Let's go through. The old man remembers the Shellbridge fires. Flames so bright, night became day. Or was it smoke so thick, day became night? Well, I read that before the Baron was born, the city was at war. Read it, did you? Oh, naughty friggin' da. Nothing like being there, is it? These hmm. streets have seen all manner of shit. Fire so we have some music. Eggs. Don't forget the war. <sighs> it was with Black, alright? More of a squabble than a war. Most of our neighbors catch wind of the shit pile we're in now. You'll out. see your bloody war. I to step lightly. This glue is everywhere. I wonder if the Baron can do something to stop the sickness from spreading. Where it goes, we're getting close to it. Okay. You're kidding! Let's see. I swear. Oh, please, sir. Shit, please, sir. You can smell that <laughs> shit itself. <laughs> do you have to do that here? We have lots of guards on the streets. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Captain's orders. He said, go stand under the window of that woman on Bleach Market. Her with a face that the rakers would throw back in the river. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make it crack a smile. <laughs> Boss, die of the gloom already. Do everyone a favor. Careful. She's off to fetch the piss pot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Watchman, move on. You've had your fun. Not sure I like this techno beat music. They cry about martial law, but you don't see it leaving. We lock the gates, you fog skull. Okay, what they doing? Let's try and sneak through behind them. Not seeing anything to steal, but then I think. Who? Let's try and sneak after these guys. Speeches about this lockdown business. People love fancy speeches. When was the last time anyone saw his face? Oh, you just lit that. I'm getting out of here. Let's go up top here. Out of the way. Apparently, one black furrow. Uh, I think he had something to. Oh, let's try this. You are a sloppy sneak. Oh. Oh bloody hell, that didn't really work very well. Oh and I killed him as well. I thought I'd just knock him out. I will check something on his head though. You just gave away your position. I can take down people from the top. Uh, anyway. Let's, um... Let's, let's run away. I thought that would knock him out. I thought that would knock both of them out, but apparently it didn't. Escape! Escape! Ah, there's a rope there. But that's a rope down, not up. And we get a cutscene. <laughs> cutscene of the clock tower. Where we're going to go be moody on our own. It's not completed, there's loads left to go. Lockdown completed. Opportunist. Preferred using environment to advantage than other means. Playstyle. Ghost opportunist predator. Thieving challenges. Extinguish nine flames. Except nine. 
Lift all the loot. Seventy, uh, sixty-seven percent of the loot. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, continue. So we are loading the clock tower. Presumably, this is where we hide out. It's our secret hideout. Presumably, there won't be anything to steal here. I'm gonna have a look anyway. What's in here? Nothing. Oh, supply stash. There are no items available at this time, but I can put things in if I want. Right now, I'm good. So we live in the clock tower. So we know what the time is. Presumably that bell is deafening. Uh, unique loot we can look at. And presumably... This is where we put it. Let's head up top. Don't know quite what we're here. We're here to watch a cutscene. Ah, <sighs> home sweet home. But something's wrong. Is it? Maybe. He's not sure. He is a master thief after all. He knows these things. Shinever. Apparently he has a bird called Genevieve. Or maybe that's his long lost love. From millennia ago. Or, you know, years ago. Where the hell are you come see me when you get back? B. Basso, presumably. Basso, who is our previous... Oh, uh, yeah. Go meet Basso. I just noticed that this clock has, like... Four. I want to. No, I can look over, but I can't jump on it. This clock has four uh, hands. That clock only has three. Why does this clock have four hands? And why are none of them moving? I mean, okay, I can understand why none of them are moving if this place doesn't work, but. Why does that clock have four hands? I can't see what the other one has. That bugs me. Let's press the glowy thing. Go to Stone Market. Would you like to go to this district? Yes, let's go to this district. Let's have a fun time out in Stone Market. Basso often has inside or often has side jobs to complete. Check with him regularly to see what he has lined up. So this is presumably our thiefy contact who gives us missions and presumably is also our fence to which we sell our stuff. In other Thief games, uh, what you sold didn't immediately give you money. You had to take it to a fence to sell it before you got money. Anyway. It's a passing thing, sir. I'm sure of it, not the gloom. In two so, days, send men to claim his property for the crest and have them bring a car. <laughs> so the gloom is some kind of plague, I assume. Everybody says that. Everyone says they should get more sleep. It's not exactly, you know, a shocking revelation that people should get more sleep. So this seems to be heading more towards the uh, freeform side of things, allowing us to wander around a bit more freely, take in all the sights, uh, including frame rates of as high as 12. Come on! What are you so slow for? Thank you. Oh, loading in assets probably. Arrows can be used to break pulleys from a distance. Yeah, I learned that last time. I swear I saw my old landlord begging for coal. Oof. Why are you being? Jesus Christ! Sorry about that. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's uh, causing this frame rate. My frame rate to drop so suddenly. I mean, it's recording, but 
It's recording onto the same drive that I'm playing from, it's probably what it's causing. Uh, so I'm gonna tweak that and I will be back in a second. And let's try that now. That seems much better. Unless the game just loaded all the assets while I was uh, paused. Anyway, so what are we doing? We are heading over there. We're going to go see Basso. See what he has to say. Uh, nope, down. There we go. It's a coin, one gold coin. One gold coin is worth stealing, apparently. I saw a glint. Interesting, because you only see glints when you're moving. It's kind of a nice touch. Anyway, we're heading over this direction. I'm going to go see Basso. See what jobs he has for us. You know what I miss? Oh. The sound of horse hooves. Now you're talking. <laughs> it's been months since I've had a bowl of horse meat flute. <laughs> Come on, jump down, jump down. Oh, that's really annoying, because you can't... You can't jump down while crouching. You can't go into certain areas without crouching. Traverse the white light to the crippled bulwark. Which is a pub, presumably. <sighs> presumably this is Basso. I realize it's there. I would have went for the pickle jar, Basso, a lot more weight. <laughs> Karen. Shit. I see you still can't work a door. <laughs> you don't come to see me, you don't write. <laughs> I thought both you and Aaron had been killed in the mansion attack. Where the hell have you been? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Fine. Forget it. Far be it for me to pry about where you've been for the last fucking year. Yeah? <coughs> I don't have time for this. <sighs> Especially with the Baron's new duty on opium, thanks to this gloom sickness. Not to mention the Thief Taker General's black tax. Squeezing us entrepreneurs. Yeah. If you got a job for me, let's hear it. So we're not going to talk about how I've been gone for a year. Are you sure you're up to it? Okay. So, here's the gig. <laughs> I need you to obtain a ring for me. Getting married? <laughs> Never again. <coughs> ah, you mangy bird. I swear one day I'm going to have you made into a hat. Who's <laughs> the brains of the uh, outfit? <laughs> I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> Good job, Basil. Good yeah, job. Yeah, 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 right. Uh, belongs to a guy named uh, Cornelius Greaves, one of those hoity toity types who doesn't have any shit on his boots. Ah. Fair enough. Ah. Here you go. Sickness What's the catch? The uh, he's dead. I'm a thief, Basil, not a grave robber. Only recently deceased. My sources say he never took the ring off. Doesn't seem much of a challenge. Challenge. <laughs> we'll be getting to him before the Carters pick him over. Rumor has it they've been taking bodies to that old uh, foundry near Cinderfall, crawling with the Baron's guards for some reason. Now, best way to that place is through the old chapel. <laughs> and uh, don't screw this up, Garrett. Some of us still need to pay our dues. You can't tax what you can't catch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. And you use the door? Please? <laughs> Garrett goes where he pleases. <laughs> Still. It's good to see you. Is it? Huh. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to talk about how I've been, you know, missing for a year. Basso jobs. Basso often has side jobs to complete. Check with him regularly. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, we've been Hear gone that, for... Friends? It's the crows. A whole matter of them crying for our spirits. 
They're singing the tale of Baron Northcrest. The uh, whatever. Who locked us in this iron cage, all in the name of progress. Old Iron Boots aims to bury us, but the crows know better. Nice they know a storm's coming our way. Huh. When it hits, so much noise, I can't talk. What do you want? I have something for all your nefarious needs. Oh, this is a. This is someone who sells us uh, gear. Blunt arrow. Ah, okay. Blunt arrow is interesting. Let's purchase some of those. And we probably want some water arrows as well. In fact, let's fill up on water arrows. Let's fill up on rope arrows. We've got that as well. Fill up on blunt arrows while we're here. What else? What's a poppy? Poppy, during the petals of the flower, has an effect of sharpening Garrett's intuition. Restores focus. So you get high by chewing on uh, opium poppies. Flash bomb uh, lets you escape. Food heals you. And we have one broadhead, broadhead arrow. Um, I don't really want to... Ah, buy tools and upgrades. So we can upgrade our equipment. We can also buy trinkets. Increases health benefits eating food. Moss quiver. Uh, broadhead and sawtooth arrows produce no sound on impact. So we have lots of little trinkets and upgrades, and we can sell resources if we want to. Uh, I'm going to buy some broadhead, broadhead arrows so that we have some. We're going to carry five anyway. And you? I'm always open. Okay, let's head out. So we're going to head off to uh, Stone Market again, and we're going to head off to. Cinder Fall, past the old chapel, to go steal a ring off a dead guy. On to Morningside. Nah, that's not how it went. <laughs> Quack was giving him two pennies each for a study. Until he really got hacking, he could make more than we were getting paid. <laughs> Onwards. Not seeing any guards in this part of town, which suits me fine. Uh, I probably should be looking for things to steal, but oh well. Stone Market. Uh, graveyard. That's the last of them. There'll be more tomorrow. I'm starting to think they're the lucky ones. Lucky, This is eh? the old chapel, presumably. Some of these gloomers bite off their tongues to make it stop. Some push in their eyes or their ears. Luck wants nothing to do with this city. So these are the grave robbers. Well, these are some gravemen. Why would you look into a trough of bodies? I mean, that's what I'm doing, but... but why would you why would you just idly rest while looking to a, into a trough full of bodies? That's just a bit it's a bit horrible really. The old anyway, chapel onwards. on morning side. The court of the Queen of Beggars. Mm -hmm. Uh why can't I Apparently I can't go past Something was there's an invisible wall there apparently. Let's take a look up here. Aha, the citizen. No old gods for a new city. This week the Baron tortured or torched the sites of recently demolished chapels in Dayport. He expressed his hope to return shortly for the inauguration of the pipe houses that will replace them. While hum historians expressed dismay at the reconstruction. Or we're quickly to hear the city must move forward. Perhaps the buildings held ignor uh, historical significance. The parent. Blah 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 words. <laughs> oh, my reading to camera is pretty bad. Probably should work on that.
But oh well. It's exactly the same when I do uh, Hexcom, so sorry about that. I, I will try my best to work at that. There's a plaque over here. Missing wrench tool. So we can remove that plaque if we have a wrench tool. That's something to remember to come back to. But for now, let's move on forward to the old chapel. And into a cutscene of someone playing chess. It's a lonely night. Uh, That's kind. Mm. This is the Queen of the Beggars. Hi, Garrett. You walk a path few would wish. That's the only one I know. Mm. Quite. Some sort of friend, at least. Blind, presumably. Looking at those eyes. Ah, you know good what old they say tea. about me? That you know everything that happens in this city. Don't get cold, Garrett. Not everything. Just the important things. No tea. What brings you here? No tea, Garrett. Seeking my counsel. Mysterious. A year ago, I was at the Northcrest Mansion. Something went wrong. Dun, dun, dun. What happened to me? What happened to Aaron? A year ago. Men who believed themselves to know best tried to control something they didn't fully understand for their own ends. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. The balance has shifted. We can all feel it. That's your answer. <laughs> when my beggars found you after the accident, they thought you were dead. But you were not dead. So we healed your broken body and brought you from the city to, to keep you safe while we waited. But then, just after the gloom started, something began to wake you. It was time for you to return home. This city grows sick. It will tell you all in time, if you choose to listen. Fair enough. Careful, Garrett. There are worse things in the shadows than you. Oh, yeah, I don't purposefully murder people. Oh, it'll be something to do with Aaron. She'll be coming back as some kind of evil person. So, earning focus points. Donate gold to the Queen of Beggars to receive focus points. Use focus points to enhance your focus abilities. Uh, okay. Player progression, I assume. Resources? No. Uh, focus upgrades. I should have just read lower. So we have intuition, highlights elements and environment from a distance, uh, ability to know where unique loots and collectibles are hidden, hemprints appear to reveal the path, dexterity, ability to quickly pickpocket multiple targets, sense, the ability to, ability to visually detect noises, uh, combat, which I'm going to skip over, speed, slightly increases the speed of your actions, efficiency, slightly reduces the consumption of the focus, Marksman greatly amplifies visual range when zoomed. And stealth ability to move silently when using focus. So these are kind of like the dishonored abilities. Uh, I'm going to go for intuition. Because it seems good. And um, we already had a one point spent in it, so we might as well finish upgrading that. So let's head over to the old foundry. And get this ring. Dust to dust, would you like to start this chapter? Um, I will press yes, but I shall see you next time, and we shall do this uh, chapter two, dust to dust. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.